What's up folks, welcome back to the garage. I think this might be the last episode of me trying to fix the uh, 940s uh, temp gauge. It's here already on the stand. And uh, I have put already the new transistor to the circuit board. But next I have to use my soldering iron, which is already hot. My grease is ready. Uh, I have a lead-free solder. This is not the best one, but this is what I have. Um, thanks for many tips I have got, because this is something that uh, is out of my comfort zone. I'm not an electrician, or I haven't soldered a lot, and this is so much different job that I have used to do so whole new area for me but um, I hope we can fix the gauge but 95% uh, possibility that this is not gonna work I'm honest I want to be honest many of youtubers won't even show this kind of video but Hans Garage, my style is that I all uh, I show you almost anything. <laughs> Not everything, but almost everything. Uh, yeah, thanks for the tips. What we are going to do now, solder, and then we will test the gauge. And um, I have the transistor. I wasn't able to find uh, original one. I found one from the USA, but it cost like 25 euros uh, plus uh, delivery. At least the same amount, so I think 50 euros is a little bit too much for, for the transistor, but I got this one. I will uh, put the picture of the transistor here on the video. Uh, I bought two. Uh, these uh, this guy from the from the shop, he said that this is uh, this might work. They didn't promise, but uh, this might work. So it's a best guess. So I hope this transistor will will fix the problem. But next I will start soldering, and after that I will tell you uh was it a success or disaster but you will know after the intro more The soldering is done. I don't know what do you think, but I think I did quite well. It should be should be okay, okay. And uh, next, I will connect the gauge like I did it last time when I tested the gauge, and uh, we will see will it work or not. And now I have my test laboratory ready. We have about 1000 ohms. I just put it in the cold water. It should go up to 2000 ohms, but when we started it was about 1000 ohms, so we are getting that temperature. And now when I'm putting the uh, power on, the gauge should go just above the zero. Yes, perfect. I don't know if you can see it, but it goes like it should. Next I will turn the 
power off and in this mug the water temperature is about uh, 64 celsius maybe a little more this is not accurate and i changed the sensor to that mug or cup and now we can see that uh, the resist okay the resistance is changing now it's about 600 and now 570 and uh, goes down if uh, this shows about uh, the 65 would be about uh, 400 400 ohms the resistance and i think it will go about there so when we have 50 we should get the temp gauge goes uh, not in the middle but it should uh, be in different position than the, it it was few seconds ago now we have about 400 ohms and ta -da! the temp cage goes almost to half which is uh, accurate enough and now I will change the sensor back to the cold water and uh, the resistance will come up and uh, just a sec and now we have about 900 ohms about this is not accurate and now when i'm switching the uh, the power on we should get only a little, little movement there in the gauge and yes i think i have managed to fix the temp gauge at least i believe so so next i will put the uh, k uh, gauge back to the uh, instrument panel and uh, put the instrument back panel back to the volvo now the temp gauge is back on it is actually quite easy to attach to instrument panel i just put these four one two three and four screws back and tighten them so now it's ready next i just have to clean there's some dust inside the instrument panel cover so i have to clean it and then i will reunite the cover and the instrument panel and put it put it back into the car oh yes now i have turbo's instrument panel back on i hope it works at least the fuel cage is now fixed and i hope the temp cage is also <laughs> uh, next i just have to put my new uh, temp sensor that one it goes under the uh, intake manifold and i just have to fill the coolant and after that we can check if there is enough power in my my old battery uh, i really hope that we have now fixed the temp cage problem because i have been waited for a long time to drive this car again now the sensor is back you can see there it's brand new shiny <laughs> and the connectors are now connected uh, it was actually quite easy to tighten i made this special tool this is 19 millimeter and i have cut it and open it from here so this fit quite nicely on the on the sensor it's quite tight but i managed to tighten it quite well and i used uh, this tape to make sure that it doesn't leak and next i just have to fill the coolant and uh, check that there's enough power in the battery then we can start the turbo after a little break which is nice now the 940 is running nice after a small break there is uh, some smoke coming out of of the surface of the turbo and the exhaust manifold 
because I put them back a few weeks ago there's some oil so that's uh, that's normal I had to use my 145s battery because that one is uh, definitely finished that one so I need to buy a new one but it's running nice no oil leaks and uh, the stem sensor is also holding I just want to wait for a while when the pressure is getting higher so then we know that if it's really hold holding and the temp cage there is already some movement and uh, now it seems that the temp cage is working like it should and also my fuel gauge is working I fixed that earlier if you want to see that video check my videos uh, speedometer uh, is working most of the time but I think that might be the next thing we will focus on on this instrument panel but now uh, all the gauges are working at least sometimes <laughs> but I'll let you know after a few minutes when when the engine is warmed up still some oil is burning but not not much anymore uh, now the upper hose is actually hot so now we know that uh, engine temperature is it la at, at least it's close to the warm <coughs> and uh, the temp gauge is there in the halfway so now I can uh, say to you that we managed to fix the temp gauge which is nice oh yes I'm so happy 940 is running again uh, before the test drive I just have to take it to the lift and check the uh, turbos oil return line I think that might be the reason why it's still leaking a little bit but I want to check it um, but otherwise the car seems to work okay thanks for watching please give me a thumbs up comments down below that would be great and it helps all the comments and likes helps me a lot and this channel uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet now it's a perfect time to do that and also ring the bell thanks for watching and see you soon